Yep. We, uh, you know, the start was imperative, and we hadn't been getting off to very good starts. And I think Micah, our advanced scout, has the stat. But it, teams that win the first quarter, uh, majority of the time, win the game. And we wanted to make sure we got off to a good start and uh, attacked early uh, by going inside and not settling for jump shots the way we'd been uh, caught doing in previous games. And I think that uh, that set the tone. Uh, Jose Calderon, in particular, seemed to have an advantage. And was able to get into the paint and probably set things up for you guys, I think. Yeah, and in fairness to them, I mean, they played two two guards. You know, even though they're pro basketball players, they're guys that haven't been used to playing a lot of minutes. And uh, Jose, you know, our guys set screens. We were able to get Jose in and, and penetrate. And uh, as a result, you know, he had a very good game. He had, you know, he controlled the tempo of the game. And, um, you know, Jose is a very smart basketball player. We just, uh, you know, try not to call a lot of plays with him in the game because he's smart enough to understand that everybody else has to get involved. And, uh, you know, I, I want him looking at the players on the floor, and he did a great job. I imagine you've got to be pretty pleased with the job that you guys did on your two threats, RJ and Vince. Yeah, I think I thought right off the bat, uh, you know, Anthony Parker, you know, he hasn't really shot the ball well in the last couple of games, but, you know, great defensive effort on Vince. And uh, when and Carlos Delfino had to come in early. Uh, Jamario got hurt a little bit. But even Jamario did a, did a nice job on, on Richard Jefferson until the game, you know, until it got late and he was able to go. But, uh, um, you know, I, I was pleased with the way those two guys played, especially. And, you know, part of the job and things that we wanted to do tonight was show them a lot of bodies. And, uh, you know, Chris was probably uh, a very silent, and, uh, as well as Andrea, silently good defenders because, you know, they were able to, to come off their guys and show a lot of bodies to, to Vince and Richard and really limit w which way they could go with the play. First time running our bench, maybe since the summer league, I guess maybe a few years ago. Was it fun? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was fun. It was, it was a lot of fun, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be happy after this break to slide over those 18 inches. Yeah. Yeah. It has been blowing out teams, it seems a lot more frequently this year. Do you, do you guys look at that as a sign of maturity? I think so. I think, you know, one of the things in the past, we had, we had let teams always come back. And I think that uh, our guys, as they get more mature and as they, as far as NBA players go and their experience in the league, they're starting to, you know, step on people a little bit. And I think that's a credit to Sam. And, you know, Sam's on these guys all the time. But when you get a lead, don't let teams come back. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. And, uh, you know, we don't do anything different when we're up uh, 15 or 16 than we do when we're down 15 or 16. We still try to attack. How big is it for you guys to go into the break after such a big win? That uh, was what we talked about most. You know, we talked about you know 48 minutes of real concentrated effort and, and, and a good solid basketball game in order to you know be five games over, and that's what we want to do. We create a little bit of space, and then you know we got seven days to rest. Some of our guys have a chance to go to the All Star game and, and participate, but uh, you know we want to come back in a week, and that's when we want to make a run. Thank you. Thanks. Not really. It's just, you know, it's been a very, very emotional day. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it was hard. You know, wish we would have competed a uh, whole lot harder. Um, but, you know, got to give Toronto credit for just a lot. And, um, you know, just uh, been a crazy day. The guys just having to learn each other. It's just like first time out there type thing. Uh, I don't know. You know, probably a lot of emotions, you know, uh, for those guys as well. You know, they lost a, you know, a guy who's, a franchise player, but you know, like we said, is that that the hangover is now over. You know, it's done. Uh, now you know the deal. From my knowledge, still hasn't gone through. So you know, the uh, you never know what can happen. Um, but we held those guys out on the assumption that it would. But it, it's still, I think they, there's an agreement. But uh, regardless, if there is a trade, not a trade, whatever happens, is we're we're going to you know collect ourselves. Uh, we're going to spend this break and do a lot of thinking uh, on what we need to do to, you know, I mean, prior, you know, we won three games prior, but it's if a deal does go through, what we need to do to be successful. And like I said, we're going to need a lot of people, everyone in there to really enlist and commit um, because we, we are, we're, we're, we're going to find a way. We want to play past the regular season. We're playing the postseason, so we have a lot of work to do. Is it frustrating somewhat that you're going to be in limbo, though, for however long it takes for this to be cleared up? No, I mean, look, it is his life. I mean, you know, just things happen. You roll with the punches. Assuming it does go through, how do you replace this leadership? Well, until it goes through, I'm really not going to comment until, until it does go through. You know, whatever happens, you know, whenever our new teammates come, you know, that will be 
uh, you know, the last day that I, you know, answer questions about, you know, our former teammates, only because I'm not going to sit here and talk about one day where we miss them or what are we lacking or what are the differences. I'm not going to sit here and harp, um, you know. Um, you know, everyone knows what he's meant to this organization, franchise, you know, and myself. And, you know, after that, you know, there's nothing else that needs to be said. You know, we're going to have a new team here. Um, you know, they're, they're not going to get rid of the New Jersey Nets. So, you know, we might as well go out there and play some basketball. Lawrence said the hangover is over. Is that how you feel as well? well I wouldn't even say hangover. You know, we're coming off a of back-to-back, a little shorthanded, well, a lot shorthanded. Uh, you know, we didn't get in until 4.30 last night, so it was a little difficult. We got to a slow start. I myself couldn't get into a rhythm until, until the second quarter, which has been frustrating for me the last 10 games because if you look at my numbers in the first half, you know, they're pretty – they're – they're terrible. You know, I haven't gotten off to a good start and I don't know how many games and just, you know, it's just for me, I got to get into some kind of rhythm in the first half, which I really haven't.